it would be nice to have a function which can render to JPEG or PNGs. So let's just create one. So I'm going to call this function render underscore to underscore JPEG. Okay. And I'm going to give it one argument format s and give it a default value of j jpeg okay so first of all i'm going to create here a file name file name and set it to uh, just test one dot jpeg okay let's import here the pill model so from from pill import not the, from pill the image image okay from peel import image let's use the global file name global file name okay okay so let's continue so the first of all i'm going to create an x a y a width and a uh, height variables and set their values based on the gr get double double v gr get double v and the gl viewport GL viewport. So this returns four values: the x and y, which is the lower left corner, and the window's width and the height. So here it is. GL get double view, double v function returns the value or values of a selected parameter. We selected the GL view port, which is somewhere uh, here, GL view port, the params, uh, parameter returns for values, the X and Y window coordinates of the viewport followed by its width and height. Okay. This is this. So let's continue now, create a Width and a height, height. and uh, set their values into integers or cast uh, width and int uh, height. So We need to set uh, or cast this width and height into integers. So, and now the GL pixel store i, GL pixel store i, GL pack alignment, GL pack alignment. Pack alignment. So let's look what this GL pixel store I does mm, here. Okay. Sets pixel storage modes. Uh, we gave it the GL 
pack alignment specifies the alignment requirements for the start of each pixel row in memory. The allowable, allowable values are 1 byte alignment, 2 rows aligned to even numbered bytes, forward, forward uh, alignment and 8 rows start on double word boundaries. Mm -hmm. Let me see here in the Chronos sets pixel storage mode. Um, so it needs to be one, two, four, or eight. We are setting it to one. So the next will be the data variable and gl read pixels uh, pixels okay read pixels and the, give it the x give it the y give it the width give it the height Height the mode GLRGB and the type so GL unsign byte. So let's look at this function and GL read pixels. The GL read pixels function reads a block of pixels from the frame, bu frame buffer. The window x the x parameter is the window x coordinate of the first pixel that is read from the free frame buffer, and the y coordinate of the uh, first pixel that is read from the frame buffer, and the width of the pixel rectangle, the height of the pixel rectangle. The format, uh, which is this, the GLRGB, mm -hmm. and and the type, the type, the data type of the pixel data, we are setting it to GL side byte. Okay, so now we just create an image and. Well, the image from image the from bytes function from bytes yes mm. set it to gl uh, not gl but rgb give it the width and the height width, width and height as a tuple of course and the data so this <clears throat> okay now let's flip the image image equals image and the transpose transpose yes and uh, image dot flip flip top bottom yes so we need to transpose and uh, flip the, uh, the y axis because um, otherwise the rendered images will be uh, flipped on on the y so and let's save this image so image dot uh, save save it as give it as the file name and the format okay so now let's in the keyboard callback function let's create a key for that so if key is up if key is equals equals glfw dot uh, 
let's say key I'm going to set it to not fee but key I'm going to set it to f12 mm, f12 and the action equals equals glfw dot press okay then call the uh, render to jpeg render to jpeg yes so i'm going to try this out let's run it and uh, let's i'm going to press the f12 quick key let's see what happened I, yes it's created here test that test uh, underscore jpeg file yes it's rendered to a jpeg file uh, let me show it yes here it is so let me create one more render from this side so f12 quit the application but what happens now is this test uh, the previous render gets overwritten by the new render so I'm going to delete this file and just implement off screen something and and uh, I'm going to explain it so before I continue I just want to show you so this GL pixel store I GL pack alignment. Uh, so GL pixel store I sets pixel storage modes that affect the operation of subsequent GL read pixels as well as the unpacking of the texture patterns. So um, I think it's a it's a uh, important information that. This GL pixel store I affects these GL read pixels. GL read pixels. So off screen, I just implemented uh, this functionality or uh, in the render to JPEG function. So first of all, what I added is uh, imported the OS model. Or the operating system model and change the di directory to to the renders directory which I created here renders which is at this time empty so uh, I give it as a row string of course and uh, created a for loop this for loop loops through this directory so for filing os.lister os current directory and if it if it uh, doesn't find uh, doesn't find any files so now it's just an empty folder and it will go here and continue to execute this otherwise it if it finds a file uh, it will split it to so if it if it finds this test underscore one the JPEG it will split it to name and extension so by the uh, by the dot the name and extension and after that it will split the name into test and uh, into this number so by it will split it by this underscore character and it will give you a new number so new number will be the number which comes from here which uh, this time it's one 
and it will add one to it and it will create a new file name by with the word the word comes from this so this part test plus the underscore character plus the uh, string of the uh, new num plus the dot and plus the extension which is the jpeg so now if i run it it will no more over overwrite the renders so if i run it and let's say f12 one render f12 second render f12 third f12 and let's render this guy from this position f12 so go to that folder to the uh, renders folder and as you see it's create created this jpeg files and and of course every, uh, named it as a test underscore one the jpeg test underscore two the jpeg test underscore three the jpeg so it will increment these numbers after the underscore sign mm, so the code will be on github and the link in the description so thanks for watching